So I thought we'd sit down today because it's good to look at what's going on with your trading sometimes outside of market hours. So I thought we'd, we'd sit down and talk about it. You've been here now a week. I guess today's Monday. Yeah. So you've been here a week. So all in all, what have you learned since you've been here for the first week? To take trades sooner. To take out sooner. To close positions sooner. Exit, you mean? Yes, to okay. exit. But I... It's very difficult because generally I do exit when you call an exit. Mm -hmm. Then why are you saying that you think you're doing it sooner? Or are you just not following me when you're... No, no, I am following you. There are times when I have left them slightly longer. But you've only got to be seconds longer to miss it when it bounces. Mm -hmm. So... True. That is a slight difference. Right. Um, it's not It's not that. It's being able to, being here, being able to discuss things with you uh -huh. face to face. Uh -huh. And iron things out easier than you would if you were talking on screen. Like, give me an example. That gap today. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have done that? The hand? No, no, not the gap, not the trade. But when you analyze mm -hmm. what you see, mm -hmm. being able to stand next to you mm -hmm. and say, I don't understand that, mm -hmm. and you going through the whole process of what you see. Mm -hmm. The points you mean. Yes. Yeah. Yes, the point itself. Yeah. Yeah. Not just the actual gap. Yeah. With it. Because to me, it was doing what it should be doing within uh -huh. the rate as you categorize it. Right, right. But when you explained it. Uh huh. It put a different light on it. So you liked it more or less? No, I understood what you were saying mm -hmm. by your explanation. Okay. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. Now, when it fell into the open, did you, does that scare you off when things fall in more in the pre-market, or does it make you like it more? From what I've learned from you, I like it more. Okay. Because it gives me more conviction that it is moving in the right direction. Okay, okay. So all the time... I'm building um, more experience mm -hmm. from what you look at and what you see and what you pick up okay. first thing in the morning. Uh -huh. Because that is that is ultimately the... You can rate the gap as much as you want, but it's there are times when you actually turn around and say, no, I don't like this today, or I like this for this reason. Okay. And it's generally just before the market actually <laughs> opens, even though we've rated Three them. seconds before. Yes. <laughs> So that yeah. puts a different light on things. Okay. But do you think being here is making you take trades, get in faster, or just get out faster, or just, you know, or just be more conscious of the fact that you want to book the money now because I'm drilling it into your head. Definitely. Take it, take it, take it. You know. Definitely more yeah. conscious of that. Yeah. Definitely because I'm sitting next to you. Yeah. And you're saying, take it out now. Have you taken it? Yeah. And yes, it does. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yes. So are you satisfied with your results here for the last week? Because on Friday when you left, we didn't do anything on Friday. And on Friday, I got the feeling you were all worked up because you got out of that Netflix earlier in, in last week. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. And you ended up having a good day today. You held the Google. You made out great. You could have made more than that. But again, it goes back to the same thing. What if you wouldn't have? I know. Stocks... As today, it continued with the Google. Yeah. Could have made more. Yeah. You could have made twice as much almost. Yes. You could have made over $3,000, yeah, I think. Yes. Yeah. But does it bother you that you made whatever you made? 1400 after the commissions or whatever it was? I don't know. I made 1200 Oh, 1200 Okay. So does it bother you that you made 1200 When, When you take into consideration that it's a Monday morning, uh -huh. I anticipated not doing anything today. Right, and you did two From things. From what I saw first thing, uh -huh. when I started scanning. Right. So, to pull in that first thing, yes, I'm, I'm happy about that. So, and how much did you end up making today? $1,800? Yeah, um, 1600 No, with the two, four, four, oh no, okay, all right, so 1600 yeah. 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 So, are you, you're happy with that? Obviously, <laughs> obviously you want more. Obviously, you it would be good. Who to wants get, more? You want more. Yes, I of course. More. You want to, you want to maximize a trade, don't uh -huh. you? You but, want to maximize it. But I'm quite I'm quite happy with the day. Do you think that's possible, though? I mean, this was the whole point of last week's lecture. Do you actually think that it's humanly possible to always get out of a short at the low of the day and always get out of a long at the high of the day, wherever that happens to be? Do you think it's humanly possible 
to do that every single solitary day, 200 plus training days of the year, and get it right as often as the I The short, the day trade, uh -huh. we took it out at the right time. That was, it, it was. It proved and itself. And occasionally I do do that. It, yes. Yes, I do. I say, this is it. It was perfect. Yeah, it was. Now, the Google trade, we weren't watching that. What it played out, if we watched the trade play out, right. may have actually given you more substance to continue with the trade and let it ride Or you might have missed the exit completely because you really well, yes. the day trade. Yes, you can't do both. That's so, why I told you to put the order out. Yes, and it took yeah. me out. So yeah. yes, if you're just sitting there day trading, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then the, the, the option takes you out yeah. in money, $1,200. Yeah. You can't complain at that. No, that's what I'm saying. But if you broke them down, you're doing them individually, mm -hmm. and the day trade was done, mm -hmm. then you looked at the option to see what it was trading at in the market. Mm -hmm. You might it might give you a different light on it. But Would this it not? is right. I'm trying to tell you though, you can play these more. You can do these options as day trades if you want to. You could have gotten back into the Netflix the day you got out of it and gotten out of it then at the end of the day or even the next day. You can yes. be a little more nimble in those yes. than you've been instead of holding them forever. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. You can be, I'm trying to show you how you can play them a little bit better. Right. You don't always get a second exit in those, but I mean a second entry to get a second trade in it, to have a second exit, but you might. Even the great Baba had that. So you might get these in 50% of them. And then if you don't, then you don't, then you don't retake it and you're out with the money. So then you're out, do you know what I mean? I think in my own mind, it depends on where I am with the money situation. If I'm, if I'm comfortably in front, then I will be more willing to let things play out a little longer. That makes sense, again, in a perfect world, except for the fact that you don't know. Because tomorrow morning you could get up and the market could be gapping down because it's been running, 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 and it still could keep going, but what if it doesn't for tomorrow's morning? And yes. then your stock gaps down after you were up money, and it sounds all great and you're in control and everything's fine and it looks good, then something happens. And this is, this is the unknown factor that's involved with trading, that yeah. you have to take the money out when you're up. Yes. Yeah. But doesn't that then relate to the trade and how long you're taking in time if you were at an option? If you had more time within that option and you were quite, well, you had conviction that it was going to bounce a little, mm -hmm. then it was going to continue. But you had plenty of time within your option to continue with it. Yes. But I want you to add some a couple zeros onto these, these numbers here. It's easy to say, but, you know, if you risk $20,000 instead of $2,000 in that trade, you say, well, I'll give it a little wiggly jiggly. Well, what if you're up $20,000 and it pulls back and you're now up $2,000? Uh, Do you know what I'm saying? Like add a zero onto the number. And this is the same thing I tell the beginner people when they're taking 100 share lots and they get very frustrated and they feel the need to rush out and take more size. Add a zero to it. You'll see the money, and you can't do that to get it right. And that's what I'm trying to instill in you while but you're to here. Me, but to me, that relates to how much profit you're up to, whether or not you cut the position down in size. So you're up, you're up, say twenty thousand. You could cut out. Well, if you want to start doing that, that, you could do that now. No one's stopping you from doing that now. You could have got out of half of it. I mean, that's Friday. You could get out, got out of the rest today. You got to get half of it out in the morning today. If you want to do that, then do it. But then you do it consistently. Don't change your mind everyone you're doing it right. either you get all out and you get back in if it has another exit or you take half out and you let the rest ride because the rest could go bust mm -hmm. or you don't let it go under half you need to decide this is part of the thing with your day trading where you were back and forth with it get consistent it doesn't matter to me which way you play it oh i've tried to be consistent yeah in the numbers that i've used it's only when i've been hit too many times okay yeah. That's when I pull it back. Well, you got to cut it if it's not working at a half loss. Yes. That's what you're going to do going forward. You yes. haven't had any losers, though, in those since you've been here. Netflix worked. You got Touch out. Wood, no. Yeah. Touch yeah. Wood, no. Yeah. Been okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so, so getting back to what I was saying, though, you're happy today with the money you made today. But in the last yeah. week, are you? Do you feel like you could have made more? Yes, you could have. Yes. But I mean, when you use that example of 6,000 loss on the board the other day. Yes. Yeah. They all didn't tank. 
they, we don't have lost six thousand. No, of course because not. Because they pulled away. Yeah. And they did, you know, balance up a little. Yeah. So it's hard to it's hard to put a perspective on on the whole thing really. Um, so your perspective is that my system works so well that you don't look at yourself with the possibility that you could lose six thousand. <laughs> Good question. That's really the reality. Yes, the reality it is. is that you could. Did you? No. Could you? You're saying these charts are so good, Melissa, this would never happen. That's because of the way I taught you and the cause I'm giving, but I'm saying because, you, because you're thinking that way, you're not, you're not taking it seriously enough about the money that you're up, and I want you to feel good, of, uh, good about that because it's just not realistic that you will be perfect every day. Today, the exit in the morning, the day trade was perfect. Yes. Today, your exit in Google wasn't perfect, but you know what? It was half a point or 75 cents maybe off of you could have made more or one point off you, you never know that, nobody can predict that doesn't matter okay. it's a Monday it was a Monday okay. I made sixteen hundred dollars on a Monday yeah so you made more Fantastic. money this week than you in one day yes. than you did last week so yes, guess what this week's probably gonna be a good week <laughs> oh dear <laughs> do it <laughs> no it's probably gonna be a good right. week because you're starting out very strong yes yeah. yes I can I can see what you say yeah yes so, like I said, last week you were, now just follow me here with this rationale logic, and then I'll make my point. Last week you were feeling, eh, because you didn't hold the Netflix. It's annoying, isn't it? Just let me finish. Friday, we did nothing. Right. Forced you to zip it. Today, look what happened. So, there's never any reason to feel like you missed out, because the market will always give you then something good in return for doing the correct action yes I always feel like that I always feel like I will be rewarded if something like that happens so what like you didn't you were upset last week and I said don't be upset and then you did the right action Friday and then you did the right action today and look at how it benefited you so if you continue to do right actions it, it's going to come back around to you it just will because the market kind of senses that with people. This is one of the reasons that people lose so much. They constantly take wrong actions. Even when they make money, sometimes they take a wrong action, but they think it's a right action because they made money by dumb luck. But that's not how you consistently profit in the market. You consistently profit by taking correct actions, even if it means sometimes cutting a trade early. If it's the right action based on all the things that you had to make the decision in the first place, all the information you had, the market you know, rallying a lot, you want to get a quick exit in the short, whatever, you ha take all the information and you make the best decision at the time. But as long as you take the correct action, the market will see that you're doing that and reward you over time. It's the people that don't that get hit over the head with the market. So I'm telling you, we'll come back around. It just, it just will. I'm just a little loath to pull a position I know, yes, you can pull a position when it's in profit, mm -hmm. but not at the position at the, at the size that you want to pull it at. What do you mean the size? The profit is not this? the profit's not really where you want it to be. I mean, tell me, am this I wrong? This is what I'm trying to say. Where uh, you want it to be? Yes, because you can always be taking little bits, can't you? You can always take a little snippet out of the market. But when you get hit by a loss, it can be bigger, can't it? In the stock it can't return. ever be bigger than what you risk. If yes. you risk five hundred dollars, say you're risking five hundred. Okay. You make two. You make. You have another day. Yes. You make another two. Yes. And on the third day, yes. you lose your five. Yes. Now, how annoying is that? But you haven't been doing that. You've been averaging one R at least since you've been here, on the day yes. trades. Yes. And you this could way. have held that. You could have held that one a little bit more. But I'm forcing you to get out before it bounces. Whatever day that was, I don't even know if what day that was, Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, I think it was Thursday. You did. Yes, and I forced you to get out and it kept you going. Yes. yes. But anyways, it's not like you're making 10% of all of these that you have this many wins and one loss sucks it all up. That's not the case. Even if you had, now just roll with me here. Mm. We figured it out this morning. I don't remember what you were up. 3,500, 3,800. You figured out the one number wrong. So whatever. It's 3,000. Even if you had two losses this week and lost $500 the next two days in a row, you'd still be up two grand. So I don't know where you're getting. You it's see, in your head. You see, I split it as well. Uh -huh. I, go, I I class day trading different to the options. So the two 
a separate, I don't class it as a whole. The way you're talking, you're talking as a whole. Yes, it's uh -huh. nice as a whole, but I like to compare each to its own. Well, I don't know if that's beneficial right now. Right now you have right. one objective, it's making money. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> so I mean, it's a big fantastic. hole in the pot. It's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, okay. Just, I, I like it. Yeah. But I do like it to balance each side up by itself. Okay. Because to me you get a better idea of how each side is working rather than just rolling it all together. I think you can make more money doing the options if you get better at holding them and seeing them well and plopping on the sides and killing the ones that aren't working right away is faster but you're not there yet. But I'm trying to guide you there. You are. And I think that that's probably what you'll end up doing and you did do some of those last year. I think you said we were up 40 grand or whatever at one point. Whatever, what was that month last year? August or September or whatever? If the position had been left, I would have been up 40. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took it out so you hand. definitely have the potential to make a lot of the money with the options. That's true. Yes. And the day trading, I think you can take more size. It's just you got to get better at getting out, and then you could go back to the size. Yes. yes. Yeah. I yeah. Think so. Yes. I mean, if you could make two grand, if that was your R in these day trades, you'd be very happy with that with these options. Oh, very made, happy. I have made three, and it's really nice. Yeah. We're using a risk of, of a thousand. Right, exactly. It is fantastic. That's ideal, ideal situation for me. If you're, I pulled in three thousand, yes, I would be very happy about that. Okay, well then that's your goal. But you got to start to prove to yourself you can do some of these days yes. like we've had in the last week. Yes. So you're going to get there. So do you feel better today than you did last week because you felt like you got out yes. of the Netflix too soon? Yes, I okay. do feel better. Good. Thank you. Good. I do. So is there anything else you want to talk about before this week? I mean, I think this is a good start to the week. We had a good, solid first week here. You've learned a lot. It's keeping that continuity. But you don't know because it's a trade. What you do you know, mean continuity? Every time you place a trade, there's a possibility of a loss. But well, you don't know, yeah. do you? It's just a case of going with it every day and playing the trade out. There's right. Being consistent in being trading every day right. using the same risk. Right. But you still don't know, do you, at the end of the day, if they're going to all work or Did you just realize that like yesterday? <laughs> when do you get up this morning? No. Or you've been trading now yeah, for no, how no, long? No, 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 no. But it's most annoying. I mean we've had several just lately that have yeah. maybe you win a couple of days and then you lose another day. I uh -huh. mean and it's it's been able to keep in front. Does it bother you though if we have five that winning does. days and then you lose in in, in no. juniper? I mean, does that no. bother you that much? No, five winning days. Or, or we're not four doesn't. winning days, whatever, and have one loss that that like you can't get over that in your head. No, it's sort of irritating. But this is what the market is. This is what trading is. You can't hang on to it. You're hanging on to you know, Juniper, UA, whatever the last loss was from two weeks ago, you got, you, you can't hang on to this. Like you, to, you know, it's February. You can't, you can't hang on to things like this. I mean, we're going to talk tonight. It's going to be a good lecture maybe I'm wanting about to steam, money, but. Maybe I'm wanting to steam ahead more and it's just getting, getting forward enough. Maybe that's the thing with uh -huh. me. Maybe I just don't feel as though I'm getting forward enough. What do you mean getting forward enough? Profit enough. Profiting yeah. enough. Well, you pulled, you enough. pulled back. The only way to get forward is to take more size. If you feel like you're ready, I'm not going to stop you. But if mentally you're not, then don't do it. What's the most important thing for you right now? To be consistent and feel comfortable and relax and yes. learn something here and make money? Yes. Or to plow forward at all costs? Because what if we have four winning days and you make ten grand and then you have one losing day and you lose 2500 I mean, will you be upset? No. Well, then plow forward. I'm not stopping you. Not in that situation. Yeah. But I mean, any situation could happen. One day could be a win. One day could be a loss. And the next three could be wins. If you can't get back on the wagon after the one win, then then it's going to be problematic. See, I, I can do that. If you can't, then, you, then you're not ready to plow forward. Tomorrow, you could take more size and tomorrow could be a loss, but then the rest of the week could be huge wins. Will you be able to get back on the horse then on Wednesday if you lose on Tuesday? I don't know, you know? One loss is all right. One loss is quite comfortable. Okay. Even at a thousand, one loss is comfortable. Well, then why are you talking about a loss that happened it's when two you weeks get, ago? It's when you get several day after day. But you That's haven't had that. You haven't been doing no, that. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's just, shall we say, sod's law that you change it and up your risk. So you're scared, you get you're scared that it's going to happen. I'm not scared. I'm not scared about that. I'm not scared about losing. It's just 
the plain fact of the matter, when you up your risk, it's very comfortable to be making for several days, yes. then losing a day, yes, as opposed to dipping your water, dipping your foot into the water. Well, then you're, you're, you're just proving my point. You're not ready to increase your size yet. You're not ready to do it. When, you're, when you don't even think about that, then you'll be ready to do it. Which you're, which you're not, and I don't I don't know when that is. Hopefully, it'll be by the time that during the time that you're here. But I'm just saying, you're 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 not then, or it wouldn't be bothering you. You will not make money in every trade that you take. I've been training for eight years. I still have days that I lose. This is what it is. I don't think you ever get to a point where you're okay with that. I can say this because I know that I'm not. But I try to just not think about it. I do other things. I really do a good job trying to think about other things, and I have a. Uh, an amazing ability to be able to shrug something off and just pick myself up and move forward and act like nothing ever happened. I mean, I really can do that extremely well. Actually, my old broker told me she's never seen anyone like me be able to do that. So, you know, you really have to get to that point. And, quite, and it's just going to be experience. I'm quite comfortable with taking it. And I have taken the risk. And I have lost on the risk. But, but you've got to be able to get back. up as if it never happened. I can because at the same well, time... Well, you wouldn't be talking when, about it here with me if you could. No, I'm just... I'm just weighing everything up because of the fact that you... It's that consistency striving forward. But I do... I can take the risk and I can take the loss. Mm -hmm. And it's literally drop everything, walk away from the machine and do something different. Okay. Then come back the following day. Yeah. And it is a case of start again. I have done that. Several times. I know, or you wouldn't be here. On a, on a thousand yeah, risk. Yeah, I know, or you wouldn't be here. Yeah. So you are doing it, but I'm saying you're doing very well. Why are you worried about losing? You've made money every day since you're here. So what are you worried about? 